ever in there? Hi guys, it is me, Charlotte Crosby, here with another YouTube video to your delight. I'll stop the accent now. This one is quite exciting because it is more housey stuff. I've decided to get the top floor in my house redecorated, a bit of paint on the walls, some changing furniture, bringing all furniture back to life. So I thought that I would document this for a little YouTube video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the room now the decorator has just arrived, Neil. And then we'll go through the process and hopefully it should be done this week really, more, the majority of it. So let's get started. I wanna go and show you the room. You're gonna love this room. You, many of you will have seen it before and you all love it. You all want it to be my room, but it's not. It's not my room. It's too scary up there. There's a ghost. So this is the room. Now, as you see, wait, hold on, how can I? How can I get this all in? It has like sloped ceilings, it has beams. It's got, it's just so big. Hold on, can I? I can put this out even further, right? I've, I've widened the lens, right? So look, there's Neil. Give us a wave, Neil. <laughs> so look, this is how big it is. And oh, the lights are broken here as well, which is annoying, but that's like, a leathery bed, which I'm going to get rid of the headboard. This chair is what I'm going to get rid of. I try to sell it. It's actually a bed. So you pull it back and it's like a little double bed. But what I want to do is I want to take the feet off it and I want to have it flush to the floor with some other cool furniture I've got from Naked Lane. Don't know what we're going to do with this mirror because it's grey. And then we've got the little ensuite in here. And there's the shower. And then we've got this cute little cubby hole area. I'll just go back again so you can see it. It's just a very strange big room, but it's very nice. And the color is already going on. So all of the white feels to me very clinical. Like, it's just, it feels cold. So we did a stunning color in, um, Chelsea Ferguson's house called Wheatgrass by Crown, by Crown. And it's so stunning, honestly. I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek of it because there's a tiny bit on the walls, but oh my God, it's dark. I wish I had lights in here. So it's not gonna, well, it is gonna be a huge difference once everything is painted that like warmish beige, but this is the most beautiful beigey color and I'm literally gonna get it everywhere. So it's going skirts walls, ceilings, and beams. It's just gonna hopefully make the room feel a lot a lot warmer. And I've got some amazing furniture to put in here too. So let's come back tomorrow and see how this is looking. Actually, I'm gonna take a photo. This is day two of the bedroom rejuvenation. So I've had some, well, I've only had half my delivery from Dunelm, which is annoying. And I've got a funny feeling this rug is gonna to be too big, but uh, let's just give it a try. So I'll take you upstairs. Last time I showed you the upstairs room, it was just starting getting painted and it was that really clinical white color. Well, we ran out of paint because it's so big, we didn't realize. So we ran out of paint up there. So it's half painted. Anyway, come on, let's go on a vlog. Ah, got a short of breath. Right, so let's look at that wall there. You can see the warmer colour it's gone to. Now, obviously, we've run out of paint. So the ceiling isn't done. The beams aren't done. Oh, still so much to do. But that colour's looking nicer. It's looking so much nicer, even though there's, we've, them two lights have bloody gone off. So you can't see too much in this room, but it looks but it looks nice that we've got so much new furniture and stuff to come in here as well. So I've just bought this seagrass rug from Dunelm, but I've got a big feeling it's too big. 
Oh, Joe, let's cross our fingers, yeah. 133 centimetres by 133 centimetres. How big is that? I'm sure I'll just go on and guess. But now, now, what do you think I've done? Do you think, oh my God, that's too big. Oh no, hold on. It's not. <gasps> it's not. It's just right. I feel like Goldilocks and the Free Bears. John Elm's great, isn't it? Oh my God, it's the perfect size. I could cry. Right, so this is going in this corner, in this cubby hole like this. Oh, I'm over the moon. I thought it was going to be too big. This is just right. I just guessed it just right. So we have the black furniture in here. These two things here, which is being moved out because they were painting the walls. So we're going to put them back in place. And then we've got the most beautiful furniture from Naked Lane. This has always just been like open with the cupboards in. I'm going to kind of divide this section off so you can't really see into it. And I'm going to use the, the cane room divider to divide that off. And then I've got other things that match the room divider. I've got a cane mirror, which we're going to put on this mirror, just on this wall, just above one of these cabinets. It's going to be so dreamy. It's going to literally be transformed, this little corner. It was so bare. So I can't wait. Anyway, what we've got to do next is get the rest of this room painted, get the rest of this furniture in, and then hold on, look what's going to happen to this. One thing I love to do is upscaling old furniture. Save the environment, don't order more. I know I've just ordered a rug, but this, knocking the legs off it, I'm getting it reupholstered. What's the finish going to be? I know the word, I've forgotten the name. Anyways, it's going to be like cream gold with the colours of the room and I'm changing the headboard on that bed. Next time we come back to this room, the whole room's gonna be painted and we're gonna be bringing all of the furniture in. This will be reupholstered. We've got some other rugs going in the middle. We've got different little deck chairs. We've got throws galore. The bed, the headboard will be changed. It's gonna be going wild. So yeah, let's look forward to the next day. Hi everyone, so we are now on, uh, I think, day three of doing out the bedroom. It's finally been all painted, which is amazing. So you can see this whole lovely, like, it's called wheatgrass by Crown. It's like a lovely wheaty colour, like a, a wheated field, field of wheat. Look at all the dust on the floor and like, look at all that, like, it's just disgusting. So we need to give this whole floor a big, this is why my mum's here, all the team are gonna um, assemble. We've got Anna, who works for Naked Lane, who is an amazing home interior stylist. We're gonna be putting all of the places in the places they need to go. We've got my mum, who is an incredible cleaner. Honestly, she's just next level. She should start her own cleaning company. She's gonna be dealing with the floor. She can help us with some furniture um, arrangement as well, because she's really good at that. My dad is here being the handyman with the drill, the screwdriver, the light bulbs, you name it, handyman wise, he has it. I think he's just coming up now with his toolbox actually. Fingers crossed that everything I've gotten from this room, from the likes of Dunnell and all of the places like that is gonna go and everything's gonna work out fine. But we shall see, it looks very bare right now. I mean, especially look at this corner, it's absolutely rubbish, crap. But by the end of this video, it's going to be amazing. Oh, here's my lovely father. Here's the worker. Here is the handyman with his safety goggles. Safety first when changing the light bulb. I'm going to go get my mum and Anna now, but I'll be back in a second. Like you've got room and you've, you've got people in here desperately in it with sex and 
God knows what. I'm going to have to buy a new mattress, maybe. So this screen is from Naked Lane. What we're going to do is we're going to just put it somewhere nice here to try and cordon off this cubby hole and make it into a nice, cute... guys we're nearly there what we're gonna do now is leave Anna to us so she can do our last fiddling because she likes to fiddle oh that sounded really rude um, and then we'll come back up and see the finished product right so guys this is it semi finished we've still got a couple of little things left but take a look at this Obviously, this side of the room where the bed is, I think we need some lamps, we need some lots of stuff on the bedside tables. We need we need this side doing now, but the main focus, the big empty bit when you sat in the bed is now full and looking really cute. I must say so myself. So I hope you enjoyed this video, this little top floor bedroom transformation, and like, subscribe, and comment. Not nasty things. Have a day off.